over here there's this neat little waterfall not the most natural looking thing in the world but over here's another thing that uh, i don't think i've shown you That was a super smooth landing there. Hi there, everybody. This is Theron. Welcome to Minecraft Land Party. And this is the cove. Uh, this is actually really cool. So VexFX, there was a there was a small hill here that uh, VexFX tore down, and then he started building these little shops, these little buildings over here. They're not really shops, uh, but he's got little plots for additional building. Uh, Green Dragon, and <laughs> He's got uh, little pits here with with uh, wool uh, carpet on top of it, and uh, so the mobs won't come in here. They don't like walking over that gap, and he just decorated it up a little bit. And uh, there's underground areas connecting the the shops together with some storage and there's flower pots down here and I keep putting flowers in them and he keeps taking them out. Um, it's super, super frustrating. And then over here, there's a monstrous um, pumpkin and melon farm uh, right here. And it's all observer based. Um, and as they pop in, it goes and breaks them and uh, there's oh they finished it nice there's water underneath here for some reason I think it may have just been while they were excavating out but um, it's a little yeah I'm not it's it's probably more complicated than it needs to be but of course this observer does need to be facing down um, probably could actually just run a piece of redstone down but observers aren't that expensive and uh, then this goes up. Kind of hoping one of these goes off while we're down here. But then, then there's there's a whole mess of hoppers, and it goes up here. There's a shop right up here. I'll have to go up and show you the the shop up here. That's right. Hi, Jack, Salty Dog DB. Nice. So this is Sea Dogs, and over here is the Gordy Goodman. Melons and pumpkins. Boop. So it goes up and it, and it just it drops off the melon slices, of course, and pumpkins. So there's a ton here. It's uh, it's pretty good, and provided. Crafting tables for people to build their own pumpkins. And so this guy, Fishy Joe, he's the fishing sh shop. Um, meow. He's got cats wandering around. Uh, there's a sheriff in here with, uh, with a villager did something wrong apparently. And then there's a Jeb sheep. Don't know. Don't know what the Jeb, Jeb sheep did. Oh, there's Salty. The Salty Dog. <laughs> okay, so this is all really cool. And um, this is a spot where fishing happens. Um, oh, clownfish. Um, I'm working, I'm planning on building a, a shop of useless items, and the clownfish is one of those things. These are bows that uh, Vex has caught while fishing. And, oh, trapped trapped uh, chicken so the chickens are out here and they they tend to gravitate up towards sitting on top of these things so they kind of look like seagulls so this is a pretty good area for fishing which is and it's and it looks really cool and over here um, I'm gonna contribute a building I haven't I didn't help with any of this build at all this is all Vex FX and Barb Barb makes things over here Future site boat rentals. So we're gonna 
I'm gonna shave that down a little bit just because there's not a ton of space here, but we're gonna have a little boat rental shack where if you want, you can get a boat, sail out into the ocean out here, which if you go around that way, eventually it connects around to the, the main ocean uh, where the uh, spawn island is and all that good stuff. Um, and then this is the beacon that uh, VexFX used in order to clear all this out. So that's the hill was went up to there. This was built on top of the hill. And then he's been shooting time lapses. He's been going up to some spot up here or up on this tower, I think. And then aiming, aiming his uh, camera down at the top of the beacon and then doing uh screenshots and building a little time lapse so that'll be interesting to see when he gets that done uh so this is barb makes things made a little stable up here that's i think where she keeps her horse lucy uh pirate cove read rules before building so there's a there's a book here with rules about not messing up anyone else's build and using sort of organic looking materials so we don't get like a pile of like a, a slime house or a, a house built out of you know emerald blocks or something like that so this is this is a cool little area and i'm looking forward i have to figure out my boat rental shop look and get building on that over here there's this neat little waterfall not the most natural looking thing in the world but over here's another thing that uh, i don't think i've shown you but it's super cool. Arr, look at this. There's a dragon down here. And the dragon is guarding its treasure. Of course, the dragon seems to be stuck in the wall. But that's okay. So there's blocks down here. Including blocks of diamonds. Um, and. Uh, yeah. And then there's, there's, there's a cave system. Oh. Another way to get in and out. Interesting. Uh, there's caves down underneath here. That uh, is, it's a pretty extensive cave system. And I went down and um, yeah, there we go. You can see it down there. And it's uh, it's been pretty well lit up now, but it was it was a little hairy. It was before I retweaked the spawn. Uh, the spawn rates. Oh, this looks like a uh, somebody's mining tunnel. No, doesn't go anywhere. So it got a little nasty, and I got ambushed by a creeper, fell on my head, and blew up and killed me. And I had no idea where it was, so I had no way of getting in my, all my stuff back. Um, so that was a little frustrating, and so that's when I lost the Elytra. I think it was Elytra. Yeah, I was wearing the Elytra at the time, I think. Anyway, so I kind of uh, I did a little mini, not rage quit, but I, I I basically decided, you know what? I should take a little break for at least a couple hours. Um, let me get a screenshot of this because this is super cool. Yeah. Uh, took a fair amount of obsidian too, didn't it? yeah super cool anyway this is i think this is a really cool little thing um it's starting to get dark again uh metal is metal nat is back on the server i don't know if i showed you his place or not um let's go see if i can get this there we go Ooh, I'm still rusty, but we'll we'll figure it out. Out over here, the uh, LGBT uh, center that Barb makes things built out here. Oh shoot, there's chickens all over the place. Uh, I think I know who to blame about that. Hey, thank you. to have a conversation with metal about passive mob caps hey come on <sighs> all 
right. And oh yeah, so that's Metal's place. So it's a Domokun built out of dirt. It's super cool. Um, screenshot of that too. All right, sun's going down. I think he's got a bed over there, right? He's got to. Ow. Yeah, let's go inside. It's a little overgrown in here. Yeah, there's a bed right here. There we go. There we go. All right. Hey, hey. Ooh. Yeah. So, so this is uh, this is Metal's place, and I don't know if he's got long-term plans. So he built himself a little egg egg machine here. What's going on? Am I still connected to the server? I don't think I am. <sighs> okay. Yep. Okay. Hang on a sec. Clock, clock, clock. Just got a little egg machine here. How many chickens? It doesn't look like too many chickens. Uh, uh, yeah, 10, 10 or so. That's not too bad. Um, what's going on over here? Stair. Oh, yeah. Stairs in addition to the ladder. Redundant uh, safety system, I suppose. What is, why is there a hole right there? All right, so oh, uh, open open pool of lava is not super awesome. He's got this here for some reason, but the eyes back here. So the I don't know if the lava is, is supposed to provide illumination for the eyes from the outside. I don't know. And then he's using vines here. He figured out the vine trick to get up on the... Whoa. Oh, that's that's not safe at all. And he's got a little tree farm up here. Um, I don't know why he's got blocks of gold. If Maybe it's a crown. I don't know. And he's got, like, lava fountains. <laughs> um, he's got another one back over here. Just seems like... I don't know. Seems like in a place where people are flying around with with ultra wings, it seems a little dangerous, but I don't know. Yeah. My internet sucks. Oh. That was weird. Um and then out over here <laughs> I oh, you know what? This is another cleanup project that I need to do. Oh, not. Ooh, um, probably not a great idea right now while my internet is so bad. But, um, let's see, we can do this, right? There we go. Hey, dude. Oh, um, so yeah, Riskensi has this thing about large portals. He likes large portals. And so he, he built this and he keeps, he kept hoping, I think from talking with him, it seemed like he kept hoping that he would build a portal and it would go out to some other place in the nether and that he could go explore the nether. Um, didn't seem to quite appreciate the fact that um, it, the eight portals don't need to be this large, but he likes the way they look, I guess. Oh, this is going to be so painful to clean up. Um, and oh, yeah, you know what? an idea here um so and he doesn't seem to quite appreciate the amount of distance needed between portals in order to uh 
uh, to, to get them to, to all work as you would expect. Um, and then on top of this, this road didn't intend to just end here. It wasn't like, oh, this would be a good place for a portal. Now the road is supposed to go out to that village out there. And, um, and so the, the portal was a little bit in the way. So, uh, I'm going to, I don't have enough gold blocks here. Do I, I bet I don't. And I should fix that. This box should contain, in addition to this beacon, should contain enough gold blocks to build a full beacon. Uh, I'm going to have to fix that. Uh, but you don't have to watch me fix that, because I'm going to put up a beacon here in order to tear down this, because it's going to be super painful with uh, without, without a haste beacon. So... Oops, sorry about that. Okay, well, that's uh, that's it for now. Um, I'm going to go take care of this. Did I knock off a torch? I did. And, um, and that will be that. Uh, I, have, I have to get back to my RPM challenge record. I have an idea for that. I may record a little bit on that. I may do an updated video on that later today which I will release long before this particular one comes out but uh, so that's nice okay there we go thank you for watching uh, I will see you next time this has been Theron this is the Minecraft Million Party All right, bye Oh, one last little thing to show you here. I think there's a boat over here, right? Yeah. So this is uh, Spawn Island. And if I go out over this way. So we we were given a risk and see a little bit of um, a little bit of guff for his uh, some of his building. And he was like, oh, I'm going to go way far away and build someplace else. So he did. And let's see if I can find it here. Sail out over to this side of the bay. And then went up and started building. It's in a snowy biome. So I think it's south of this peak here. Or north of this peak here. And north right now. No, south. South, I was right. My first, whoops. Oh, let's see if we can find it. Whew, goodness. It's right along the shore. Let's see if I can do this without flying into unloaded chunks and getting myself killed again. Because that was no fun. So. Should be over here. Maybe in that area there. So. I gripe a bit about Risk NC's building. Um, and it's not... Oh, wait. This looks this looks promising. Oh, there it is. Um, and it's not that I dislike large buildings. There we go. Hey, guys. How are you? Um, it's not that I dislike, you know, him building super huge uh the problem is that he builds it's like he builds too close to everybody else and he builds large too close to everybody else and his but his buildings aren't large enough to be truly impressive they're just they're kind of ungainly and they're too close to everyone so if he had built farther out and made this gargantuan build that'd be fine or if he built a little bit you know a little bit more in scale with everything else right around that would be fine uh so that's it's just it, it doesn't seem it doesn't fit in with the space where he's building um which maybe i'm being all you know crazy flank, frank lloyd wrightish but um that that's you know kind of what bothered me so i keep telling him it's a big world. You can go build wherever you want and you can build as much as you want. Um, just, you know, 
do it don't do it where you're in everyone's face so he came out here and we're you know we're pretty good ways spawn island is that direction almost directly and he built this and it's super small <laughs> he built this tiny little house he moves out like what are we we're you know almost 800 blocks away from everything else and then he builds this tiny little you know modern looking house i don't understand so the and then he built a portal down here and he's far enough away from the portal um to that this should have created its own portal in the nether and it linked up to the portal that the spawn island portal links to not sure why that is and i don't know if maybe it's the space in between wasn't loaded or something i don't know so i went in and manually fixed it so that he has his own portal in the nether let's see how bad this is yeah so he is whoops get out of the portal there we go uh so he has his own portal in the nether the the spawn island portal put some of these out is uh, over that way on the other side of that that chunk of netherrack so i could extend the the pathway out so that you know it's relatively easy it'd have to go through that thing of lava unfortunately uh, but i might do that and then place it so that the portal is outside of the the uh nether hub so that if if wants to go exploring he can or I'll put a door in the door out to the nether um, which would be nice without having a another fortress or something at the terminal end which right now in the nether hub the the let me put some lights on this the the fortress is the only way in and out of the hub um, except through the portals of course so Anyway, just a quick little update. Um, this is an area that I haven't explored much. I don't think anyone has. And, ooh. Oh, that's nice and dangerous. Oh, goodness. Yeah, that's that's beautiful. That's lovely. Uh, all right. So, I may come over and do some exploring here. I'll leave the resources for... It's like I won't... That's a really cool-looking glowstone outcrop. Um, and uh, this uh, lovely bit of lava here. Oh, interesting. Coming from there. I'll, le I'll leave all this intact. Some gravel if anyone needs a bunch. Um, so that Risk and see and others can go explore the nether should they desire to do that. Um, but yeah, so I don't have any of my safety gear here so I don't see anything I don't see like another fortress nearby or anything like that but what what in the world is that all right well on that cue whatever that thing making all that noise outside is I'm gonna go so thank you for watching and I'll see you next time all right, bye